you can do multiple works with this uh, expansion shield you can connect a servo you can also connect a lcd display by connecting it to the scl sda 5 volt ground in the same module okay so you don't have to uh, make other circuits for the uh, cascading of the modules okay so this is much helpful So this is my Arduino Nano uh, expansion adapter board I.O. shield. So you can see its design. So guys, uh, today we will discuss about the Arduino Nano Expansion Shield, which is actually the extended version of Arduino Nano. But uh, why we should use it? Because the Arduino Nano has limited number of pins, but in the extension board, there are much more number of pins for uh, doing more complex projects, okay, uh, in which two or more modules are needed, okay. So before starting, this is Pure from Shan Electronics, and if you are new to my channel, Please go and hit the subscribe button to get all latest updates on my upcoming videos. Also hit the like button if you like this video. So let's get started. Here uh, we can see in the Arduino Nano Expansion Shield that there are analog pins here starting from a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 a7 okay these are the scl sda 5 volt and ground pins rx tx 5 volt and ground and these are the digital pins here starting from zero starting from zero okay. to one two three four five six up to 13 okay and here is the aref pin and you can see these rails uh, the red rails are for the VCC all these are for the VCC and this uh, black rails are for the ground which are the header pins there are three three volt three point three volts here and three grounds here okay also there are grounds here and grounds are also here ground rail and VCC power rails are also here so you can see that compared to Arduino Nano there are a large number of uh, pins with which you can power the uh, shield up okay and also here is a DC jack to power the module separately okay so now let's mount the Nano to the shield then we will compare so we have mounted the nano to the shield you can see now you can see that the arduino nano has uh, the analog pins the digital pins all it has but the 5 volt ground these are limited here but in the module the pins are not limited there are a large number of ground as well as the uh, vcc power pins here this uh, triple pins are helpful when we connect the servo motors here you can connect multiple servo motor to the digital pins and uh, can do the servo projects okay also uh, you can use the i2c module for the lcd connection here uh, which are the scl sda 5 volt and ground given here which are not given here you can see because the space is limited in the nano but in the expansion shield this is the 
standard version of the nano and also it has some extra pins so here the rx tx pins are also different uh, which are also here also but here the rx tx is given and also there is another rx and tx which are here you can see here these two pins and also there are 5 volt and ground and here you can connect the oled display which has the scl sda 5 volt and ground four pins okay here the 3.3 volt uh, you can power it up power any 3.3 volt uh, module with uh, this okay also you can take 5 volts from here okay this all pins will give 5 volts and ground in my previous projects i have uh, introduced you to the i2c module which is this and to the lcd display okay so in the lcd display in the, on the back side the i2c module is fitted like this it goes to the back side and then the lcd module uh, pins are reduced to only four which are only the ground vcc sd and scl so these four pins will can be directly connected to this uh, expansion shield you can see uh, here it has the scl sda here it has the scl sda 5 volt and ground pins so this lcd module can be directly connected to uh, here and you can see the display on the LCD screen so this is one application after this uh, we can also connect this SG90 servo motor to this uh, expansion shield directly which is not uh, possible in the Arduino Nano separately okay in the servo motor the brown wire is the ground the red wire is the vcc and the yellow wire is the signal so if we uh, declare in the code the signal in, is in the pin number four then this four number pin will have the signal and the uh, and the uh, red wire will require the positive and the brown wire will require the negative connection so here if we directly connect this servo to this pin see it is connected to this pin now we will not uh, require to connect the other vcc and ground separately all the three pin connection is possible uh, here and now the servo will run if we uh, power the arduino through the usb cable okay in the next video we will see how to uh, run a servo motor with this expansion shield okay this was the intro of the expansion shield. So that's it. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Good day.